What is the most memorable scene in cinema history? It's a very simple vignette of shots. There is no music and yet you can still hear a noisy racket. Why is there an orchestra in my head when I see this? In order to answer this question, consider this paragraph from one of my favorite books of all time. A squeeze of the hand, enormous documentation, a tiny gesture within the poem, a knee which doesn't move away, an arm extended as if quite naturally, along the back of a sofa and against which the other's head gradually comes to rest. This is the paradisiac realm of subtle and clandestine signs, a kind of festival not of senses but of meaning. The writer Roland Barthes is talking about a similar vignette of images that we've been presented with in the scene of Pride and Prejudice. Subtle furtive imagery has been taken under a microscopic study and focus Imagery that is so small that they escape our notice and regard in our daily lives. We take these moments for granted, consider them insignificant, a squeeze of the hand, a knee which doesn't move away, etc, etc. Or in the case of Pride and Prejudice, a certain look passed between two characters. Brush of skin against skin, a flex of the hand. These are the moments that we don't care to document. The paragraph concludes with the phrase, a festival, not of senses, but of meaning. Where lies the contagion of the virality of this infamous scene in Pride and Prejudice? Every small, seemingly insignificant moment in this scene is impregnated with meaning. The scene celebrates not the senses, not the physical manifest world, but the metaphysical world. The world that cannot be seen or touched or smelt, but exists nonetheless subterraneously at work, enchanting us, holding us hostage as the audience and as active participants. The scene smuggles a dimension of every unsaid word and sentiment that Darcy and Elizabeth feel for each other subconsciously through these small subtle shots so that the viewer is left enraptured, enchanted intimately moved. So yet again, this scene is a celebration, a festival, not of senses, but of meaning. Darcy walks away from the carriage with the superiority of your circumstances, which he could not possibly rejoice in fighting against his my better judgment, my family's expectation, the inferiority of your birth, my rank, the need to encourage to, I don't know, Dancing. wailed in his tongue, unveiled in his body, exhumed in his eyes. The I love you most ardently trembling in every nerve of his being and him having to push it aside and repress it, convalescing together to stricken his nerves so that walking away from the carriage, his hand is paralyzed, frozen. Maybe Elizabeth's stricken gaze haunts Darcy in the middle of the night and Darcy's awkward hand roams Elizabeth's mind, wondering does he so repulse the prospect of my touch that his hand is paralyzed? Am I so barely tolerable? Or maybe Darcy wonders haunted, does she know of her power to render me paralyzed at the touch of her hand? Does she know of my ailment? Does he know, does she know, both wonder, debunk, theorize, propose, reject in an enormous documentation that goes undocumented? And so, let us all document these small moments if we dare. Document the one behind the screen, listening to my reverie, the earthquake in my voice because it betrays me, much to my embarrassment. Document, document, document.